Welcome to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. This video will show you how to easily add the vertigo effect, also known as the dolly zoom effect, to a video using Filmora 10. Watch till the end of the video to learn two different ways to do it. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Now let's dive in! The dolly zoom effect makes it appear as if the background is moving, stretching, or squeezing while the main subject stays in place. It's known as the vertigo effect because it developed while shooting Alfred Hitchcock's classic film Vertigo. In the movie, Hitchcock used dolly zoom to convey Scotty's acrophobia. You can use the dolly zoom effect to add the feeling of panic, anxiety, and disorientation to your video. Filmmakers also use this effect to show a character undergoing an intense realization that causes them to reassess everything they had previously believed. Traditionally, you would need a zoom lens to achieve this effect, but with Wondershare Filmora 10, you can fake the dolly zoom effect with editing. The zoom lens is no longer required. All you need is a clip that moves forward or away from the subject like a drone shot for example. There are two ways to fake the dolly zoom effect with Filmora 10. The first way uses the pan and zoom tool. Download and install Filmora 10 on your computer. If you haven't already, click the link in the description to get started. Next, click Import in the Media Library. Select your video clip and add it to the program. Drag and drop your video clip into the timeline. Right-click on the video clip and hit Crop and Zoom. Then select Pan and Zoom. Now you need to find a reference subject. In this clip, the reference subject is this rock. Since the camera is moving towards the rock, go to the last frame of the clip and pay attention to the rock's scale and location. Then, go back to the clip's first frame and crop the video to ensure the rock is at the same scale and location as the last frame. If the camera is moving away from the reference subject, you'll need to do the opposite. Go to the last frame of the clip and crop the video to ensure it's at the same scale and location as the first frame. Hit play to preview the vertigo effect you've added. This effect keeps the camera focused on the rock while the background moves behind it. If it isn't quite right, make some more adjustments. Then click OK when you're happy with the result. Keyframing is the second way to fake the vertigo effect in Filmora 10. Again, use a clip that moves towards or away from the reference subject. Then you'll zoom in or out of the first or last frame to keep your subject in the same position. Move the playhead to the first frame, right-click on your video on the timeline, and select Add Animation. The animation window will appear. Hit Add to create your first keyframe. Next, move the playhead to the clip's last frame and hit Add to create a second keyframe. Remember, this video footage moves towards the reference subject, so you'll need to observe the scale and position of the subject in the last frame. Then go back to the first keyframe at the beginning of the clip and adjust the scale and position of the reference subject to match the last frame. You can adjust the scale and position by changing the numbers in the animation window or you can drag the border of the video in the preview window to zoom in or zoom out. There is a detailed video on how to use keyframing on the Wondershare Filmora official channel. Check out the link in the description. Hit OK once you're satisfied with the effect. So now you've learned how to add the vertigo effect to your video using Filmora 10. Let us know in the comments if you're planning on giving it a try. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. Keep creating, and we'll see you all next time!